I fight because it's just what I was born to do. It's like asking a fish why it swims. It, it could never give you a reason. It just, it was born to do that. I don't become blonde in the morning. I just am. I am prepared all the time. Anybody could walk in that door. I'd be ready right now. I don't become ready. It's just something that I am. <laughs> when I was born, I had the uh, umbilical cord wrapped around my neck. I suffered from hypoxia, which is like uh, being deprived of oxygen. And it, it affected my speech development. And I think that because I had such a hard time communicating for a long time, that my way to, to speak to people would be through being physical or emotional, because I just didn't have the words. And I think that's why I was, I was so drawn to fighting, because it's a physical way to express yourself. Rhonda uh, was in my gym for like three months and I didn't even know her last name. And just manager called me, said, why don't you come watch her? You know, we picked up an amateur fight for her. Why don't you, you know, help the girl out? And I went to her fight and I, I wrapped her hands. You know, she's very focused. She went in there, boom, capitalized right away. She did the attack, got, you know, the girl threw a kick. She cut the kick, boom, took her down, got her in an arm bar. I always call Edmund the uh, Clint Eastwood to my Hillary Swank because it was a very million dollar baby where I just started coming to the gym and he wouldn't want to work with me and I had to work a long time to convince him that I was worth this time. It was not until when she argued with me in the gym of me not working with her so then I realized that hey this girl really wants to do it if she has the courage to yell at me in my gym. That relationship between a trainer and a fighter you really have to love the person too to have that belief and that that trust and that everything when you step into that octagon and of course you'll be better mentally prepared. If you sweat and you bleed with somebody enough, you're bonded in a different way. And you can definitely get under my skin more than anybody else. <laughs> oh, during camp, I mean, there, there's some days where I know he's trying to do what's best for me, but there are days where he'll purposely try and push all of my buttons and get me emotional to make sure that I can stay composed. My mom got a perfect score on the SATs at 16, graduated college at 19, was the first American to ever win the Judo World Championship, saw she was a single mother working as an engineer and getting her PhD. She's really badass, she makes me look lazy. My mom tore her knees out when she was 16. So she was forced to really excel mostly on the ground, which was very uncommon in judo at the time. So she was like the original armbar lady. She would always say it was the most definite way to win. These girls are very, very lucky they get armbarred because the way she punches and the way she, you know, lets her hands go, it's very dangerous. Guaranteed they're gonna be knocked out. When you armbar someone else, it feels like you're like ripping off a turkey leg, but it's in between your legs. Like that, sense, like that feeling when you like pull it off, like the kind of cartilage crunchy in a rip, it's like that. I've been on barred a couple times. I've had both my elbows dislocated and it's not comfortable, you know, it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. You can just pop it back in. No what? <laughs> Everybody has their own process. I mean, I'm, I'm completely emotionless when I'm out there. Everyone thinks I'm so full of rage or anger, and it's, it's not like that. I don't have any room in my brain for emotion or opinions. It's just observations and decisions is all every single neuron is focused on. When I'm in it, I'm observing everything and I'm making so many decisions that I'm thinking complexly about things in such a short period of time Right after a fight, the second it's over, I don't even really know what happened. It's kind of like if you went out one night to drink and you have no idea, you like woke up in the morning, you're like, what was I doing yesterday? And then your friend shows you like all the pictures of the stuff you did. And you're like, oh my God, I remember all that. It's kind of like that. After a fight, I was like, I don't even know what just happened. And someone shows me a video later, I'm like, oh yeah, I do remember all that. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
she goes for the finish every second. It's, it's incredible. But I always say, if I didn't train Ronda, Ronda still would be a world champion. Ronda's born to do this. Nobody could do it better than her. I'm happy to be undefeated. I don't know, it just feels like it's the way it should be. It's not something, some precarious thing that I'm, I'm guarding. It's just like it, everything is as it should be and the whole world makes sense. And I know that I'll be able to retire undefeated. I'm just in route.